In Act 4, Scene 5 of William Shakespeare's Hamlet, a deeply troubled atmosphere pervades Elsinore's hall, setting the stage for a series of poignant exchanges and revelations. The scene commences with Queen Gertrude, Horatio, and a courtier discussing the worrying state of Ophelia, who insists on speaking with the queen. Despite Gertrude's initial reluctance to meet Ophelia, persuaded by Horatio and made curious by the courtier's report of Ophelia's madness and incoherent chatter, she agrees. When Ophelia enters, her behavior is indeed erratic, marked by her singing a mysterious love song. Gertrude engages with her, but Ophelia's responses are wrapped in sing-song and enigma as she touches upon themes of death and betrayal through her melodies. This includes singing mournfully about a deceased man and alluding to the lack of fidelity in men, which she intersperses with cryptic tales and morals, like that of the baker's daughter turned owl. It's clear from her disjointed ramblings and songs about unrequited love and the loss of her father that Ophelia's grief has unraveled her mind. King Claudius then enters, reacting with concern to Ophelia's lunacy, which he immediately attributes to the grief over Polonius's death and Hamlet's departure. Ophelia continues her heart-rending performance, tossing in references to her father's cold grave, before ominously promising to tell her brother, presumably Laertes, about the tragedies that have beset them. She departs with a cryptic farewell, leaving the royal couple to worry over her state. Shortly after her exit, the scene shifts dramatically as a messenger bursts in with news of Laertes's uprising. Apparently, Laertes has returned, fueled by a desire for vengeance for his father Polonius's death, and has garnered significant support from the populace. Chaos ensues as Laertes forces his way into the room with his followers, demanding justice and rejecting Claudius's pleas for calm and assertions of innocence in Polonius's death. In a poignant climax to the scene, Ophelia makes another entrance, this time in the presence of Laertes. Her condition is a visible shock to her brother, who mourns her madness even as he vows revenge for the double injury to his family. Ophelia's delivery of imaginary flowers and her continued singing about death and betrayal further underscore the depth of her distress and the familial tragedy. Claudius, in an attempt to stem Laertes's fury, expresses his own sorrow for Ophelia's condition and offers to prove his innocence, proposing that once vindicated, he will assist Laertes in avenging their shared grief. The scene encapsulates themes of loss, madness, vengeance, and the disintegration of royal and familial bonds under the weight of secrets and tragedies, setting the stage for the impending climactic confrontations in Shakespeare's tragedy. Thanks for watching our Bookly Crash Course summary video. Check out the Bookly Crash Course channel for the full chapter summary playlist and even more complete book summaries.